what did I get from doing Caroline's program? And definitely, it is not losing weight. But I got something more, and that is... Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. I am Joyce. I'm a nurse here in the UK, here to share with you my life story and my journey. If you are a returnee, thank you so much for continuously supporting me. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you find value in today's video. This time, I will be sharing you the result which I got from doing three of Caroline Gervan's EPIC programs. To begin with, I did EPIC 1 and then EPIC 2 and recently I have just finished EPIC HIT. Caroline Gervan is a personal trainer based here in the UK if I'm not mistaken and I came across her workouts back in September 2019. At that time, I am used to doing mad fit workouts, also Heather Robertson and Body Fit by Amy. And then when I came across her workout, I was really intrigued because it's so difficult. I said, this is a challenge and I'm gonna try my best to stick to this program. And that is the beginning of my addiction to Caroline Gervan workouts. So a brief background regarding the structure of the program. From Epic 1 to Epic Heat, it compromises of five workouts each week with two rest days, one on the fourth day and one on the sixth day of the week. One is an active rest day and one is a full rest day. So each week we've got um, high intensity interval training which normally falls on a Sunday and then throughout the week she will also have a full body which normally comes on a Friday and then for the rest of the three remaining days she is targeting body parts so for example uh, Monday will be lower body up next is upper body and the third day will be probably focus more on chest or focus the following week it will be focus more on the back every time that she releases a new program she also comes up with a, a guide with food and nutrition and some recipes that we can try and use and a healthy substitute for our food choices also she's got a community where she you know, encourages everyone to share our journey. The thing I like about Caroline Gervan's program is that it's not focused on losing weight or targeting certain parts of your body. It's more on helping us enjoy working out and to be strong mentally and physically. Hi everyone and welcome. So it is day one of our EPIC program. I'm so excited. So for the activity outside of work. What I normally would do at that time is really just work three to five times a week. So that will probably give me about 10 to 12,000 steps in a day. And then on a lucky day, if I'm feeling up for it, I would go for a run because at that time it was during the pandemic and um, we were only allowed to go out for work out. So I would really use my days off to go out and really just have a nice run with my sister. At this time, I am not fond of having carbs apart from having a few bread or pasta in a week and I would not eat rice. And then my diet is mainly compromised of salad, fish, fruits, yogurt. But then towards the end of Epic, I started to come back to enjoying more of Filipino Asian food so that means it's rice and ulam and I thought at this time that it's really bad for me because I am sabotaging all my efforts for working out but then as I go along with this epic program I realized that fueling my body is more important than restricting myself changes I noticed the changes I noticed is more of seeing that I get more toned at the beginning of Epic Epic One, I would say that I have shed most of the pounds that I wanted to shed. So at this time, I was quick to see muscle toning, especially on my arms and my back. And I also managed to do my first pull pull up and do a few reps of proper and good form push ups. How did I feel about it? So. I really felt very accomplished when I finished Epic 1 because that's like 10 weeks of 5 workouts each week and I managed to stick to something for the first time. Before I would try workouts and commit to something by programs, by plans but 
at the end of the day, I could not really make myself stick to it because I just didn't have the right mindset or I have the wrong goal, which is to change how I look. And I was not coming from a position where I wanted to improve as a whole, but just really f focusing on, you know, having a flatter tummy or fitting on my clothes better. My reason for working out wasn't holistic at the time. Moving on to Epic 2. Hi everyone and Happy New Year! Welcome to day one in Epic 2 program. This one, I started this the same time that Caroline released it. Yet, I did not finish it on time because I strained my ankle. Excuses. But no, really, beat my. I do not beat myself up for not finishing or doing the workouts the day it was released. I gave myself some room to enjoy other activities like, you know, going out for a round with my boyfriend or doing other workouts. Activity. So this time, I do not work as much as I did during Epic 1. This time, I'm probably working 3 to 4 shifts. And then I also enjoy running as usual. But it's only probably once a week or probably twice or th twice a month and then yeah walking at the park with regards to eating and how i feel about food it tends to be really up and down with me and that is something that i really want to work on because there are times that i'm really really pushing myself to stick to a certain type of diet which is saying no to rice totally and there are also times that i would realize that completely leaving rice out of the picture means i crave more of it and then when i see it and then allowed myself to eat i would really overdo it i really could not stop eating adobo <laughs> and rice this time i mean i enjoyed eating all the filipino foods because my boyfriend is a good cook <laughs> but honestly Every time I would eat it, I'm like questioning why am I allowing myself to do this blah -dee da But towards the end, I reminded myself that the main goal is to enjoy the food, nourish my body, and not overdo it. So somehow, at the middle of Epic 2, I started to be more mindful and not just devouring every food that I see. I'm really working on having a healthier relationship with food and seeing it as something that yeah nourishes my body and not something to be guilty of. So for the changes, I learned to embrace working out and see it as something that I really do for myself more than anything else. Not focused on, you know, losing weight or just really focusing on the aesthetic changes that it will give me. And then noticed more definition. Definitely, I've seen more results on my arms. There are some points where I really felt so masculine because of my arms. But now, I really do love them. I have spent hours working out just to get them where they are now. So yeah, I celebrate it and yeah, it's my body and what matters is that I love it. I have embraced working out or being active for four to five times a week. Also, oh, Epic 2 to me definitely is harder than Epic 1. The duration of the workout still is from 30 minutes to an hour but to me, it is harder because there are more complex movements. And lastly, epic heat. Hi everyone and welcome to day one in Epic Heat. I am So Epic Heat is a 10-week program as well. Five with the five workouts each week and the rest days are the same. But this time the workouts only lasts for no more than 35 minutes which is really half of the usual amount of workouts for epic one and two so now i feel like i can do more of it even after a long day at work i don't feel like i have any reasons to say no to a workout because it's only 30 minutes and if i added up my warm-up and cool down it's probably gonna go to about 50 minutes so yeah still not bad to me the intensity of the workout has just leveled up so the workouts the time of the whole workout is short, but the rest period is also shorter. So, more reps with shorter rests. I, I eat rice, I enjoy eating a variety of food, I enjoy baking, and I eat what I bake. So, I do not 
stop myself from enjoying the food that we have here at home but also yeah being mindful of what i eat and making sure that i still have balanced diet just um another one i did not finish this on time because yeah i'm allowing myself to do some other activities in between the programs activity wise i'm doing yeah three to four shifts still at this time i enjoy walking or running outdoors more and then yeah incorporating other workouts and other programs like yoga the yoga channel that i enjoy in youtube is yoga by adrian you want you might want to check her out when i just feel like there's so much going on in my life i just you know do a quick yoga or if i needed a 45 minute yoga it just helps you know um clear my mind for the changes i wouldn't say that all the changes that i noticed after epic hit is solely because of epic hit but i would say it's all because of the workouts that i've done which is from epic one to epic hit so here they are so i bulked up and i gained probably a kilo or two i am not very sure because i do not really monitor my weight my weight since i started epic one but if i'm not mistaken probably i weighed around 57 at the time before epic one and now i weigh 59 kilos i wish i can tell you that caroline gervan's workout will make you lose weight because that is normally what we all wanted but honestly caroline gervan's workout is more than losing weight it's more of enjoying the strength that you're gaining and enjoying functional fitness so i eat a lot more this time i do not restrict myself with carbs the way i did before I started Epic One. I can do more push-up reps. I can do variety of push-ups and I feel stronger about it. More definition on my arms, my back, and I feel as if I have gained some more muscle on my bum. Yeah, it's no, no longer a pancake. Probably it's more of a semi-peach <laughs> now. I don't know if what to feel about it, but I no longer fit on my old clothes. I had one dress which I really, really love. But now I do not fit it, fit on it, especially on my arms and here on this part. So yeah, I know that my shoulder has broadened a lot after Epic One and Two. But yeah, I feel mm, yeah sexy with how I look now, and I feel more confident in my body. My thighs also become thicker, and I love it. That is my goal. So even if I do not enjoy doing Bulgarian squats, RDLs, and staggered squats, I do it because I want a thick thighs. <laughs> and most important, I feel more comfortable in my skin. I celebrate all the changes that my body has gone through. And of course, I honor it for what it can do and for what it allows me to do. There are still days when I wonder if I really want my arms to look like this, but I am embracing it because it allows me to do more push-ups. It allows me to just really move and enjoy and be stronger. But for the definition on my back, I definitely love those and I'd love to see more definition as I do more workouts. So to sum it up, what did I get from doing Caroline's program? And definitely, it is not losing weight but i got something more and that is loving myself holistically and focusing and seeing working out as a way of being mentally and physically stronger and not just because i wanted to change physically i just hope that there will be more influencers fitness trainers physical trainers like caroline gervan whose focus is on teaching people to love their body and focus on being active because for the sake of it just be more confident in the body that they have and that's my epic one to heat journey in a nutshell and my reflections about it i do hope that you find value in today's video and if you ever are doing caroline your Vance workout let me know how you find it and if you wanted to try i'm going to be putting the link to her website so you can check her out i am sure that you will love it i'll see you on the next one bye